This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Friday, June 15, 2012, in Canada. Radar imagery from Environment Canada shows scattered rain with tropospheric involvement for the following Canadian cities, Edmonton, Calgary, Regina, Sudbury, and Ottawa. All rainfall occurring along the southern provinces should be treated as having high potential for fallout, which crowdsourced radiation readings confirmed last night in BC. In the U.S. Several regions in the U.S. are showing light rain on IntelliCast radar. The troposphere places the following states at highest risk for fallout over the weekend. Alaska, North Dakota, Nebraska, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the upper and lower peninsula of Michigan. The current rainfall in the far south and Florida should also be avoided for core exit rainout. In Europe, radar imagery from EMUSTAT shows a swirling low pressure system centered over the UK, touching into France, the Netherlands, Belgium and northern Germany. Lower portions of Scandinavia are also at risk. There's also some risk for southern Italy and Greece. Weather monitors can be found at Meteo France for updates over the weekend and pay close attention to the water vapor bands from this system. The models that are used to determine the effects of radiation on health always concentrate on cancer and leukemia, but we know from Chernobyl that radiation causes a number of diseases, and one of the diseases is heart disease, especially in children. Children contaminated from only 20 to 30 becquerels of cesium, which is not very high, were found to have heart disease in Chernobyl. The heart of a child contains 3 billion muscle cells, which only grow slightly during their life. The heart is an extraordinary organ and every day pumps 7,000 liters of blood through the body. But these cells are non-replaceable, and if a number of cells are damaged as little as 1%, 25% of heart muscle can be lost. Recent data shows a sharp increase in the number of cardiac events in athletes and racehorses. Both are exercising outdoors. The website of ki for You is also offering free radiation testing on your home, car, or vacuum filters. Please visit their website or FukushimaFacts.com for details. We need to protect each other. Please share love, caring, and concern for your fellow humans. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.